Good evening, sports fans. Jason P. here for Team Takeum's Week 13 Picks. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Hanukkah for everybody out there. Last week I went 1-3. and three, Dismal 1-3. and three. You know, I, I realized that research is not my friend. Okay, When I try to find some research to back up my picks, it doesn't always work out for me. So I'm going back to my old ways of just going with my gut instinct on some of these games while checking out a little bit of the facts as well. This week, something special because it is Thanksgiving and it is Hanukkah. I went with picks based on teams that are represented by Native Americans and teams that have Jewish players on them. So, for Thanksgiving and Hanukkah, here are my picks. My first pick is the Cleveland Browns minus 7 over the Jacksonville Jaguars. You may be asking, what's the Cleveland connection here? Well, one, the Cleveland Indians also play in the uh, in Cleveland area, and... The Cleveland Browns have offensive tackle Mitchell Schwartz, who didn't start playing football until he was 13 because, one, he was too big for his age for the local Pop Warner leagues. He was already six foot five and 240 pounds at that point, and his parents wanted him to study up for his bar mitzvah, which is a rite of passage for Jewish men. So, my first pick again is the Cleveland Browns minus seven. Take them. My second pick this week is the Cincinnati Bengals plus one and a half over the San Diego Chargers. The Bengals' safety is one Taylor Mays, whose mother Lori is Jewish, and he was raised with his mother's Jewish religion. So, go with the Cincinnati Bengals plus one and a half. Take them. My third pick this week is the Washington Redskins plus one over the New York Giants. Love the name or hate the name, the Redskins represent Native Americans whose land the white man stole from them. So my third pick again this week is the Washington Redskins, plus one, take them. And my lock of the week is the Kansas City Chiefs, plus four and a half, over the Denver Broncos. This one I hit the daily double on, because not only do the Chiefs less offensively represent Native Americans, but they also have offensive tackle Jeff Schwartz, who, like his brother Mitchell, didn't start in start playing football until he was 13 because, again, he was too big for his age for the local Pop Warner leagues, and his parents wanted him to study up for his bar mitzvah. So my lock of the week again is the Kansas City Chiefs plus four and a half. Take them. So that'll do it for me this week. Remember always to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comments down below. Have a happy Thanksgiving, a happy Hanukkah. And we will see you next week.